supporters. Millions of Americans will be waiting in line to cast their ballots today to see who will lead their communities and the nation. A record number of people have already cast their ballots by mail, but experts say they're expecting a surge of people to head to the polls again today. And WCI3's Karina Rubio joins us live from the Brooklyn Center in Urbana this morning with more. Good morning, Karina. Hey, Matt, Christy, good morning. Now, the polls are open here at Brookings. There have been people coming in and out for the past three hours that they've been open. Now, you can vote until 7 p.m. tonight, and right now I'm here with the Champaign County Clerk, Aaron Ammons. Aaron, busy, busy day for you, but how are you doing so far this morning? We're holding up just fine, uh, processing voters at all the locations, just trying to make sure that we're taking care of all of the nuanced things that need to be taken care of to, get, to make it a smooth process for everybody. And across the county, any word on how turnout has been? any weights, any lines anywhere? You know, I think people are turning out pretty strong. Um, there's going to be some lines like you hear, see here, but they're moving pretty efficiently everywhere from what I've heard so far. We do have 88 locations, so I can't be everywhere. But uh, we, the reports right now is that uh, all the lines are moving efficiently if, there are, if there's a line at all. Now, I want to ask you about mail-in ballots. What should someone do if they still have one? If you still have a mail-in ballot, it has to be postmarked by today, November 3rd. So I suggest that if you still have a mail-in ballot, just put it in the drop box before 7 p.m. All the drop boxes close at 7 p.m., just like the polling locations, and you will not be able to use the drop box after 7 p.m. But if you still have that mail-in ballot and you want to return it, I suggest you just take it to a drop box. If you can't and you just can't get out of the house, then go ahead and drop it in the mail, and it should be postmarked today. And then just the last question for you, what about for those who are not registered, still need to cast yeah. their vote? I strongly suggest that they come to one of the universal locations, like here at Brookings, the Ark, uh, places like that, the Union, because those are universal locations, and it doesn't matter where you live, we can register you, and you can vote at the same time. You can do that at each one of the polling locations, but you have to be assigned to that specific location if you're trying to register and vote at a specific location. So I suggest the universal locations for anyone who wants to register and vote at the same time today. All right. Well, thank you so much, Absolutely. Aaron. And we will be checking in with Aaron throughout the day today. Make sure you stay with us on all our platforms. You can do that online, on air, Facebook, as well as the WCI3 News app. Reporting live in Urbana, Karina Rubio, WCI3, your local news leader.